Hey everyone, this is Liam. Today we're going to be talking about just real quick, nice, uh, quick and easy, simple, cheap also, which is a nice thing, prop uh, that you can build with a basic dollar store uh, carvable pumpkin. I found that at the Dollar Tree the other day. Um, obviously a buck. Uh, can't really beat it. They are styrofoam, so it's a little cheesy, but you know, we're going to um, add some stuff onto it to make it a little cooler. Turn that guy into this guy. Corpse him out a little bit. Um, we're going to use some liquid latex from Fright Theater. Um, not necessarily, no, not in any way associated with Fright Theater, but uh, you know, had a good customer experience with them. Um, if you're looking for some prop latex, you don't want to use that carpet latex stuff. Um, it's a good option. Definitely more expensive than the carpet latex, but it also dries in, uh, you know, less than a, a month, so that's nice. Because it means you can move on to the next step and uh, start really corpsing the guy out a lot quicker than you could normally. So um, basically, you know, like I said, dollar store, carvable pumpkin. Uh, not sure where they're going to show up. I know the Dollar Tree has them uh, in Southern California, so uh, I'm sure they'll start showing up other places too. Um, the reason I'm using these guys, I mean, they're cheap, it's quick and easy, um, and effective. You know, they end up looking pretty cool. So, uh, next step, some spider webs. Um, again, dollar store spider webs, nothing special. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these spider webs and just kind of put them over my pumpkin guy. I should also mention, uh, it's nice to have this guy up kind of on a pedestal or a stand of some sort. Um, I kind of stuck a piece of steel or a piece of wire through, uh, through the bottom of it. Because um, once you get this latex on it, it's really sticky. You can't really set the guy down anywhere. Um, so basically, what we're going to do, uh, just take a, again, cheap brush, um, again, the theme of cheap, and just start brushing the latex on. It doesn't really matter where you can worry about that later, um, or not worry about it, because I always feel like, you know, it's Halloween is kind of supposed to be ugly, so not that worried about making it pretty, making it perfect, it's just not, you know, why. Um, it's gonna be in low light, um, and it's supposed to look creepy, so we're just not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna make it look kinda cool. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take just a few minutes, throw some of this latex over the spider web, I like to kind of cover up the mouth a little bit. Um, nice part about this, and you can see my nose is kind of covered up, um, you can cut this stuff away once it dries. So don't worry too much about covering up different areas. I think it looks kind of nice and creepy when you have those, uh, almost the webs coming through, coming across the, uh, across the mouth or across the nose. Looks kind of neat. Um, I should also mention, um, kind of as a disclaimer, this means an original idea. Um, just thought I'd kind of share a different take or a, you know, quick take on this um, that seems to be working for me. I've never really worked with prop latex. I've read a lot about, you know, corpsing and this and that. And, um, bought a Bucky this year, so, so thought I should probably corpse it. So I ended up buying the latex and used spider webs for that. And I uh, just thought, you know, this is a cool technique that can kind of translate to a lot of different things. So, um... In a future how-to video, I'm actually going to show you how to build um, animal pelts using the same process. So stay tuned for that, hopefully coming sooner rather than later. I figure at this point, too, you know, if we do quick and easy, um, you guys have plenty of time before Halloween this year to uh, make some of these yourself if you really feel like it. So um, that's the other beauty of quick and easy besides saving you time. So, as you can see, I mean, we're pretty much done here. This guy's kind of well, a little funky, but we'll kind of bring that down a little bit. Basically, all we're doing is just giving this guy some texture, giving him some character. And we're using the latex, you know, of course, to stick it down and kind of give it some, give the spider webbing some texture of its own. So that's what we've got. And again, I'm not too worried, you know, his mouth and nose and actually his eyes are pretty well covered, but... Um, I'll cut some of that away later uh, once we actually, once this dries and once it comes time to actually age this guy down. So I'm um, going to let this guy dry and we'll get back to you in just a few minutes here.